very good morning to you, beloved. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. This morning, our theme is the power of joy. And the scripture reading is James 1, verses 2 to 3. And it reads as follows. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Now in the text we have three reasons and steps to consider our trials to be great joy. Isn't Christ indeed the one who changes our sorrow to joyful dancing. Amen. So because we know they produce endurance, verse 3. You already know this, beloved in the Lord. It's just that the knowledge is not functional and that's why it is not heavenly wisdom. Trials are exercises for developing muscles and strength, beloved. This is true for relationship to church life, also to personal and spiritual growth. The way you mature it is by knowing the trial's purpose. Enduring it with so much joy as you possibly can and preparing for the next trial to come. At it with no joy and greater and clearer perspective. We must be able to see this in the following way. Say, so Satan, here I am, give me your best shot. Shoot your arrows at me. I am in Christ Jesus, and now you will change my sorrow to joyful dancing. Amen. And that's why we must sing songs in the midst of pain, trial, grief, and discomfort. Sing your favorite song in moments like these. The lived different Jesus is wonderful, standing somewhere in the shadow. Sing it and sing it unto Jesus. Because the value of maturity is greater than the value of the absence of the trial. Verse 2. It comes down to what you value, beloved. It comes down to what I value today. The joy of trial is like the joy of getting one's teeth drilled for a filling or going under the knife for surgery to save life or taking the nastiest tasting medicine to treat a sickness or dreadful symptoms. What's so great about maturity? It means we like Jesus Christ. What's so great about being like Jesus Christ, beloved? We already have the real Jesus and don't need to be like him to replace him. Jesus deeply enjoyed the goodness and majesty of God and so far we can agree that Jesus continued to do the will of his Father. God is God and is giving us the strength and His presence through Christ and the Holy Spirit to sustain us. He does not redeem us and leaves us, no. He, however, He redeems and sustains us. That is the God we serve, a God who continually sustains us. The only way you will truly consider trials as a great joy is if you want God in all His glory 
more than you want to get over your trial and tribulation. And if you want your trial, God more than you want God, then to that degree you will be unable to consider this trial a great joy and fully embrace this perspective. In conclusion, beloved, your trial right now that you are in is about God. It's about you and God. Let go of it and let God be God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Down on my knees, I found my Jesus. Down on my knees, I found my Lord. It wasn't on the mountain. But it was on my knees I found my Lord Once I was blind I could not see The glory of Jesus So rich and free I've heard about him the man of Galilee, I cried out, Lord, oh, help me, please. Down on my knees, I found my Jesus. Down on my knees, I found my Lord. Wasn't on the mountains, not in the valley, but it was on my knees. I found my Lord. Father, as we approach your throne of grace, it's with thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for your love and salvation, as referenced in John 3, verses 16, 17. Love demonstrated, salvation made available. We receive this. Forgive us as we forgive others too. For in this our joy is complete. Patience in Jesus brings about a perfect work as referenced in James 1, verse 2, 3, 4. Temptation will come. In some we may fall, but we are here in encouraged to keep moving on. Because overcoming is at work. Faith is growing and Jesus will be glorified. Because all power all glory belongs to Jesus. Amen.